All right, Fritz fam, we found a tank that we would like to fix while we're here in Australia. We got John and Mark, John from Dynamax, Mark from Aqua Hub. We are going to fix this for them. It doesn't have enough water. We promised to come back Monday morning and fix this. We're going to make you a full on Fritz video showing you how we did it. All right, snail it. I hope he remembers us. I hope he does as well. It was, it was pretty late last night. It was night. late last night when he went there. One bite, that's it. We are back at the restaurant. Like I said to you in the little video I made, we saw this aquarium inside. Unfortunately, they used to have a service company at this restaurant that stopped taking care of the aquarium. They haven't been able to find another one. So they've just been kind of struggling along, not knowing what to do. We saw it at dinner. At dinner the, the other night, night. yep, yep. And yep. we uh, did what any fish keeper would do. Passionate. Is yeah, want yeah. to take care of this aquarium. We thought we'd make a video out of it. Let's do it. Let's do the job. Oh, yes. All right. That is, that, that, that table was full. Cool. I'm sure it was longer as well. Okay. I didn't get a good shot. It was only a camera shot, but this is what's going on. Um, you'd be surprised because this aquarium actually goes up to here. The, this is their viewing window. We've got a lot of goldfish in here. It looks like maybe they're starting to feel it because their fins look a little bit tattered. The water parameters are a little bit off, so we're gonna do uh, a water test, the water change in here, scrub the glass, gravel backing in here, show them what they need to do to keep this aquarium going. All right, you ready? Let's Mark, do it, let's, let's do go. It. We decided to get some sideline plastic plants. They don't have much like foliage in there, so fish like a place to kind of take cover, to feel more safe. Brought some clarifier, that water's pretty murky. We brought our test kit. Let's see what's going on in the water. Evie's got her coffee here. Evie always has to have her coffee. We brought some Fritz on 7. For you at home, if you're doing a big water change, do a big makeover like this, you're gonna be interrupting that bacteria quite a bit. Sometimes you can interrupt it so much that you wipe out a large portion of that bacteria and that's what's keeping things stable. So we could lose a, a, a big portion of the bacteria, so we brought in fresh bacteria to help that out. ACCR, goldfish, they create a lot of ammonia. They're gonna probably create a lot of ammonia after we go and mess things up. This is gonna immediately de detoxify the ammonia. It's also gonna dechlorinate the water that we're gonna be putting inside of the aquarium. Max out, this is gonna continue to work to reduce nitrate and phosphate. We're not gonna be able to eliminate all the nitrate and phosphate in there. It's highly condensed. We're not gonna take much water out of here. Oh God! This is going to work to reduce the nitrate and phosphate that is in the system now. Bacter Shield, this puts a, a coating of herbals on the fish to protect it. Any sort of bacterial infections that they may get, you may see a reduction in their immune system as we stress them out. So we wanna leave this coating on them uh, in case they're gonna be swimming around, they're gonna be rushing around to try to get out of our way. They could be scraping up their fins. This will protect them from getting a bacterial infection. And then finally, the easiest. It's a bit uh, weird for me to, to really lean into the glass cleaner, but this is one of our best products. We use it on glass. We didn't have a gravel vac. Uh, if you're in need of a gravel vac, or if you don't want to spend $25 on a new one, you can just take a simple hose, cut off one of the bottoms of, of the bottles that you might already have empty lying around, Probably more ideal if it goes over the cap instead of squinching into it. But it looks like it's nice and tight in there. We can use this as a gravel vac. So we've got some, um, some of the biosphere with the added prebiotic. This will help with the denitrification ammonia along with, in, the, in the filter. Um, we've got some Biomax as well. Um, also just a different surface area to help with biological long-term. The Mag Flow Cleaner Scraper. This clips in there like that. Has scrubber on it as well, and this is for the outside with the felt on there. I like as this one has the handle. It's got a handle, sometimes, like an iron. Like sometimes an iron. with the other magnet cleaners, you right. really have to hang on to that little piece on the yeah, front. Yeah. So this lets you get some muscle I'm into it. it yeah. yeah. Oh God, be more careful with magnet. <laughs> don't be like me. Uh, these are the thermometers so they can maintain their temperature. I don't think it's gonna be a problem in Melbourne, but you know, just to make sure in the kitchen, goldfish, Dynamax Goldfish XL as a pallet. And then we're changing it up with one of the lights as well. So we're going to put a new light on their tank as well. This that is, is nice. That you is cool. Little, little sealer. Keeping yeah, keeping it nice and fresh for oh, it. Man. And wait till you open that and smell it. That does smell. Taste this one with garlic. You want some? You going to try it? Have I'm a not. shot? You can eat it. I'll eat it. You going to eat it? If you want. You go for it, Mark. Here. A little bit more. You got to eat the whole thing. It's like a shot. 
All right, about that, is that enough? That's enough, yeah. And I eat it. The bottom's up. All right, I gotta do it too. How's it taste? Garlicky? It tastes really garlicky. <laughs> I might turn into a goldfish. Yeah, well. Yeah, bottom's up. You know what, they're really not living that bad. No, no they're actually, not bad. they're actually probably living not better bad. than us. Okay, this is good. Okay, what do we got here, Mark? Uh, so it looks like, obviously they used to have a chiller unit with a, another pump down here as a circulation pump. Okay. The chiller obviously is not you, not working anymore. The pump's going good. I'll do the outside, you do the inside? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, same, same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You do the outside there. And... <laughs> oh, whoa, move your fingers. Okay. Well, this is thick glass. Mark, I, I do believe most of the mess is on, on your side. On my side, yeah. I feel like I you should have had to, to get in there and scrub it. with my hands, yeah. As you can see, we're, we're really stirring things up in here. That's why the goldfish are going to be so stressed, is because we're kind of shaking up their world. We're serving the bacteria beds a little bit. That's why it's super important that we add uh, the ACCR and the Fritzheim 7 in there. They try to keep things stable. I, I really didn't know they made lobster things that way. Yeah. Two panes of glass on the top. Uh, and you learn something new every day, it's the scram. If you wondered how they make lobster things, Mark just sold you two panes of glass for the condensation. Let's just tank it. It's, 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 a three, it's about a 3 b 2 b It's all 300, 300 liters, uh, gallons, uh, 50 gallons. Divided by four. Yeah, thereabouts. We see who the math guy is. Yeah, not me. <laughs> Are you having to stand on your tiptoes as well, Mark? Yeah, I'm not as much as you. Okay. Cosmetically, it'll look okay, but they got to get a long-term fix here. This whole thing eventually is going to have to come out. Come out, yeah. Well, I'll have to tell them the good news and the bad news when we're done. Good news is official we okay. Bad news is you're going to have to replace this aquarium. I've been doing this for 25 years. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Oh, no, it wasn't good enough. All right, here we go. Oh, that's that's cool. one really dangerous. Yeah, yeah, you get half of it in there. Yeah, yeah. Fritz fan, there is another way. Here, here, you can even use this. That's it. All right, hold that for me, Mark. Yep. It is cleaning it quickly at a turbo style rate. I feel pretty comfortable. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, right after. Do you want to oh, use the it tastes, <laughs> it tastes really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, let me, hang on, hang on, let me, clear, checked, let I, me clear, I, yeah, I, let me clean your face there, Sean. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, um, you're right. I checked the line. I did. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been doing at Graham's, Mark? Since I was 14 years old. Uh, so about 40 years, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, something <laughs> like that. The reason why you have algae, the algae is trying to stabilize the environment. So a lot of people, they actually wreck their system when they rip all the algae out because the algae is there due to the nitrate and phosphate. When you remove the algae without getting rid of the nitrate and phosphate in the water column, by using an algicide or just scraping it out, you're actually removing what's naturally grown there to normalize the environment. Do the water changes, reduce the nitrate and phosphate, use some heterotrophs, bacillus, to get rid of that sludge that you can't reach, therefore fighting against that nitrate and phosphate from the source versus removing the algae. All right, this is um, the part that both Mark and I are really not looking forward to because this, as Evie here was joking earlier, that we don't know what's gonna come out of this. We don't know what's it's gonna come out of that at all. A living, breathing mm, something. thing might come out. Yeah, yeah. The true owner of the restaurant here has been here for 20 <laughs> years. He's still in there. Managing things <laughs> from the green, green cylinder. Still there. <laughs> Undo these slowly so we don't break the clips. Oh gosh. Off. Ah. I don't think there's any um, meteor. Not there. not as bad as I thought. Yeah. Fritz fan, that's sludge. Oh. Some bag of carbon, huh? Carbon that's probably about twenty years too old. Yeah, that's probably not active, but it's in there. Oh. <laughs> what else is in there? Something oh. might come oh, in and or get something you. Something moving. <laughs> oh, there is no bio meteor. in there at all. So. We are dealing with a lot. That's actually bad news. Yeah. And there's no bacteria in At this all. canister, except for inside of that. Uh, which is carbon, carbon bag, bag, yeah. There's no monsters in there. You put this in this. These are nice. They really have top quality there. Thank put you. Put that in there. Max it. Yeah. 
Don't forget that. I feel like I should have brought like the eight pack. <laughs> yeah, you need a bit ten, man. <laughs> All right. All of my acronyms have a meaning. This is ammonia, chlorine, fluoramines, remover. What I like about ACCR is you, you, you can't overdose it. Comment down below. I really, I really like our new look. And that finish will shine to it. The packaging is I want to make you happy at home. Not just with what's inside, but what's on the outside. It's, it's what's on the outside that counts. Really. <laughs> I don't know if we can use that one. Jimmy, he always disappoints. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> there's good news and there's bad news, right? Before, this is exactly where the water line was. So this was a lobster tank before. They put two panes of glass for it. I, don't, I still don't quite understand the rationality between two panes of glass, but lobster tank builders know. The crack that you have here is in this first pane. So this tank still holds water. You see this here? Yeah. That's between those two panes of glass. So we're never going to be able to clean that. Long story short, everything will be good. Yeah. But... This pane of glass will have to be replaced. Or th this this tank of glass. Yeah, yeah, we also want to do with this one here. So, yeah, but no worries. What, what we're going to do, yeah. we're going to take the measurements of this glass. Yeah, okay, yeah. John, we is out front. I went and talked to John. Yeah. And I, I said, we should probably replace this tank. So, let me see what I can do to eventually get this glass from this one. Okay, no worries. Don't give up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I want to come back here for years and, yeah, okay. and see this tank. Yeah, that's okay. Mmm, I mean, that is excellent cold yeah. coffee. <laughs> Not quite like a cold brew, but it's good. This is the first time using the Bosco yet? 100%. All right, let's go. You get to see the power of, it's not going to quite be the results you're used to because of that condensation. <laughs> it's good for glass, is it? But if you use it on that thing, you'll get the full experience. Fritz fan, lots and lots of mics on YouTube channels are fully edited and you don't get to see exactly what went on but with this one we'll show you 99 <laughs> percent all right Kurtz fam so this isn't quite the reveal i was hoping for obviously we're here at the restaurant that night the lights were off i think i didn't see that crack so we came back here today we found the crack we still saw that the front pane was a little water we we just did everything we could but that we can't get rid of these water lines because they're in between the glass. Oh, we haven't had it seven. All right, let's get some of that, man. Okay, so use the Pactor Shield. And this is just some herbals. It's just going to put a protective layer on those fish. Mark, we did our good deed. Yeah. Hi, right, bud. This was a fun project. I'm glad we were able to help the cool fish. It was cool. And it's cool. It's, yeah, awesome. All right, Fritz fan, we finished fixing the aquarium. We feel pretty good about it. We know what we need to do. Yep. I talked to John. I actually want to look at the dimensions here of the aquarium oh, okay. and possibly replace the tank. Well, that's cool. Yeah, it's been a great, great experience. And uh, we're done here now, so we're going to wrap it up. On to the Melbourne Zoom. Until next time, comment down below. Let me know where you would like me to go so we can bring the content from there. Snail it! <laughs>